Okay, first thing you need to do is set up your machine. So you're gonna grab your vinyl roll. We either have a 12 or a 24 inch, but the 12 inch, you're only gonna get probably about nine, maybe nine and a half out of it. And on a 24 inch, you're probably only gonna get about 20, 21 inches. So in this case, I've just got a, a small little thing. It's about, uh, you know, four by four or whatever. So I'm gonna use the 12 inch roll. Okay, make sure your machine is on. Let's turn it on right down there. And I'm gonna put this in the back and I'm gonna feed it through. Now, what you have to do is you have to get the two rollers to go on either side of your roll and the rollers have to be in line with these little strips. So in this case, I'm gonna have this roller here. Put nope. that right about, nope. oh no, I'll go right there. Put that roller right there. And this roller is gonna go like that. And something like that right there. Now. You want to have these as far apart as possible. However, if they're too far apart, what can happen is this can eventually run off. So you want to be kind of careful on that. Let's go something like that. Bring it through a little bit. Make sure it is straight. And then you're going to clamp it down. Once you clamp it down, you have to tell the machine what it is. So in this case, it's a roll. This is what you, you'll use most of the time. So I'm going to hit enter it's gonna detect the total width of your roll. So in this case, I've actually got 10.2 inches out of that roll, which means 10.2 is the maximum width I can have for my design. At this point, the media is ready. Now we can go up to our actual uh, Corel draw here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure this is all vectored. So I'll take that. I'm gonna assign a hairline uh, outline and I'm just gonna get rid of the fill. This will give you an exact idea of what the machine's gonna cut. So there's no crossing lines, looks really good. From here, we're gonna go up to this little button right here, kinda looks like a tag. Click that, it's gonna open up Roll and Cut Studio. This is the program that interfaces with the machine itself. So now what I can do is I'm just gonna go up to File, no. File and we'll go Cutting Setup. This is the Roland GX24. I'll choose my properties and I'm gonna get from machine. And if you don't get, if you get a little pop-up that says error, it means that something about the machine didn't work. In this case, I'll switch it to inches, you can see it has realized it's 10.2 inches, which means it's communicating. That's good. So in that case, I've now set up my print. And I can put this wherever. Obviously, don't put it up there. You're just going to waste vinyl. So I'll just put it right down there. And then when you're ready to go, file and cutting. Click OK. Machine's gonna cut it out for you. Once it's done, you need to cut it out. So you're gonna use the little down arrow here to uh, feed it out. And make sure that it feeds out far enough. We're gonna use this little line right here in the machine to do a cut. So you just have to extend this down until the cut itself is past that line. Because you don't wanna cut through your design. So something like that looks pretty good. I'm gonna hold this just a little tight, put the razor right in that channel there, and, and then we can take this out, weed it, and do whatever we need to do.